Hello lovely people. We had a massive dump of snow last night. So what we've done is we've come out of our cameras to photograph winter in the snow. It was snowing so bad that we couldn't even get up the hill with our cars. So we're here, it's about 6.30 in the morning and the sun is rising and we're gonna see if we can get some really cool shots and give you some tips on how to photograph winter and the snow. Let's go. So we've come to this beautiful country park near where I live um, and the snow has just fallen last night. There was about 10 inches of snow and it's all over the trees and it looks absolutely beautiful. And what we've got is the sun rising above these oak trees. Now I've seen these oak trees before a few times and I thought to myself, you know, they're gonna make a nice photograph. So hopefully they are gonna make a nice photograph. I'm gonna try and grab this oak tree here with the sun rising above it basically and that's my first shot so let's see how that goes eh right so i've set up for the shot i'm going to put it on f16 because i want to get a long depth of field um I'm using auto exposure bracketing and what that means is it will automatically take one shot at what it thinks it's to be a normal exposure, one overexposed and one underexposed and I'm doing that because we're photographing snow and if your exposure is going to go all over the place it's when you're shooting snow okay so auto exposure bracketing is a really good tip when you're photographing snow. Um, I'm on ISO 100 as well, and because I'm using a remote trigger, it will automatically take them three shots for me. So I'm all set up, I've got the sun coming back through the trees and some shadow areas over here. I've got two oak trees there, um, ultra wide angle lens. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna come close now to the tree and I've got an ultra wide angle on here so I can go to 16 mil focal length. This is on a full frame camera. Um, so that's a really wide angle. And I wanna try and create like a sense of drama actually with this tree. So it's a beautiful oak tree and it seems to have fallen over over the years and grown in this really weird angle and I think it's gonna make a really cool shot. So I've still got the sun coming up behind it. Um, I'm gonna bracket the shot to see what happens. And that's what I'm gonna go for now. And another good tip is just hold your camera, hand hold it while you're trying to get a nice composition. So you don't have to keep setting up your tripod. And then when you get roughly where you need to be, oh, without falling over, <laughs> when you get roughly where you need to be, yeah, like that, that's really cool. Then I can get my tripod and get set up for this shot. Okay, this is a really good composition, I think. It's a bit hard to see because I'm bending right down. Um, but I've got the sun just coming. Let's take that, yeah. Uh, just coming behind one of the branches. So I might get that nice sun bleed coming out. I'm bending down too far. Oh, it's my age. That's my age. And I've also got a cold, in case you ain't noticed, to go along with it. But we just had to come out this morning because it's absolutely beautiful. Let's see what else we can take. So I seem to be obsessed with this uh, oak tree here. I've come around to the front of it now, or whatever side it is, this part of it. And it's really cold the way it goes up like that. And we've got the white snow hitting the top parts of the branch, the blue in the background. So I'm gonna try now again. Again, I'm gonna to stick to ultra wide because I really like it, 16 mil. And again, I'm gonna try and get a shot 
from here, uh, yeah, no, I'm still gonna stick to landscape, get a shot from here and really try and show off the grandeur of this tree. So let's have a go at that one. So I've just walked a little bit further on and there's these free oak trees here behind me. And you know, there's no one around this morning because we got up really, really early. And that is another tip. If it snows, get up early, get your camera and get out there before other people come and ruin it for you. Um, but you just look at this scene. There's no footprints in the snow. Um, the sun is still rising over there. So I've got a lovely um, shadows coming across the um, floor where all the snow is. I think this is going to be a great shot. So I'm going to go for this shot here as well. Try and get these three oak trees well, in the snow. Okay, here we go. I'm all set up. F16 ISO 100. The base exposure is at 50th of a second. I'm manually focusing as well, by the way. I'm just focusing onto infinity. Um, it just eliminates all of the your autofocus going in and out, in and out, in and out. I mean, obviously the trees are far away, so the focus is gonna be infinity. So it makes it easier for me to go manual focus. And I'm gonna bracket it anyway. And just so that you know, here's my remote trigger. When you bracket shots, your ISO stays the same, your aperture stays the same, and it's only the shutter speed that changes. And that's what you want to do when you bracket shots. Here we go. Lovely. Oh yeah, that's really good. We've got the blue sky over there and we've still got some orange light coming from the sunrise over there. All across the white snow, could it be any better? I'm not sure, it's absolutely lovely. Um, let's go around and have a look and see if we can get some more shots. Oh, my hands and feet are absolutely freezing here. Um, so we've got them pictures of the trees there and I hope they're gonna come out really well. Now, if I do do any post-processing on any of my pictures from this uh, tutorial, I will put what I've done in the description of this video. And I'll also put in the description um, some nice clear pictures so that you can see the um, final results. That'll be in the description of this video. Um, right, the sun is going uh, away behind clouds. We're forecast for another dump of snow very shortly. So what I've decided to do is put on my 85 mil prime lens and go round and see if we can pick up any of them lovely details of winter that we love, particularly with the snow. All right, so let's go and walk around. I'm handheld now and see what we can find. So I just wanna take this opportunity to tell you about the courses that we have over at the schooloffotography.com. We teach you photography properly over there in a nice structured way. We've got courses in photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, and all other photography related stuff. We've also got some free stuff so that you can try before you buy. So if you wanna be taught by professional teachers that we've been doing this for years, so we know what we're doing, then come over to the schooloffotography.com where we can teach you photography properly. Okay, let's get on with the tutorial. So what I'm looking for is to shoot through a load of branches and twigs, try and get some bokeh in the background. That's when you get these um, sort of circles in the background and really, sh and you do that when you use a really shallow depth of field. So I might shoot at 2.8 or f 1.8 to try and get that shot. Um, and there's some foliage over here. 
and let's go and have a look at that. So if I shoot through here, and we're kind of trying to create some abstract kind of effects. Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. Um, and just trying to make it look a bit more interesting through the use of depth of field, really. Okay, so I found this uh, really nice tree here with, I don't know what it is actually, like some seeds or whatever it is um, coming off of the tree. This is gonna make uh, a really nice shot. So let's have a go at that as well. Same principle, uh, really wide aperture, f1.8, and try and get some abstract kind of look to it. Yeah, that's quite cool. I really like this. This is really good. So if I shoot up into the tree, get a focus point, and take this shot, you get a lovely bokeh effect in the background. And also when you're doing stuff like this, try and think of the way that the branches are gonna lead through the frame. Diagonals work really, really well. So let's have a go at this one here. Right, okay. Yes, I'm happy with that and it's getting really cold. I cannot feel my fingers or toes. Uh, the snow's coming in, so we're gonna call it a day there. Remember in the description, if I've done any post-processing, I'm gonna put that in the description. I'm gonna put um, pictures of what I've taken in the description as well, so that you can see them um, full screen if you like. So make sure you check that out. Please, please, if you like this video, share it with your friends and press the like button. It really helps us out. Put a comment below as well. Tell us what you think. We love that. Don't forget to come over to the schoolofphotography.com where we teach you properly and check out our photography courses. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.